I'm Corey. And this is A Pretty Cool Hotel Tour. A Pretty Cool Hotel Tour is about to take a very cool house tour. You probably recognize this from the internet. Major celebrities shoot here. It is one of the coolest homes I've ever seen. So we got the owner to agree to give us a peek inside. I'm very excited. Let's check it out. Welcome. Oh, I'm Margaret. So nice to, meet, to meet you. you Jamie. Thank you for having us. This is already better than I could have expected. I love I that you guys home. are here because it's so different for you. Uh, but similar. This is just exactly where I would want to go stay, but like I get a peek inside where you actually live. How long have you actually had this house? It's been four years now. Really? And it's gone by so quickly. But basically besides the pink in the front, I've done every single room. They were all beige, basically. I come from like living in a photo studio, kind of like very, sure. like insane asylum, nothing in the room, yeah. like just white walls. And when I moved here, I just like completely lost it and was like color, yeah. decoration, trinkets, doing it all. But you put a little glass in there and she shakes it for you. You get a little cocktail. This disco ball was actually from a client. Once you put out this type of thing and yeah. energy, people just think of you. So. I have these little shoppers all over the world. So and so Sony's like, I saw this in Santa Clarita and I got my car, I was like, oh, I'm going. And I think that's what's amazing about just being authentic to who you are. Yeah. And even if it's weird and other people don't like it, well, at least everybody will send you that stuff. Okay, I have to take a picture of you standing here because it just looks so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Okay, thank you, I had to get that. This is my pink room. It's where I sleep. This is the new set that's like, oh, just a few months ago from that estate sale. This is a floor to ceiling unit. And we had to um, crush all my glass work that I'd done, all the mirrors on the ceiling to put this circle flush on the ceiling as well. So you're saying you broke the glass ceiling is what you're saying? Yeah, well, my um, handyman did that part. Oh no. <laughs> Heavy drawer has an eight track player in it. It comes out of the ceiling from the velvet speakers. The bed spins, which I did all of this, like installed all of this. Oh my gosh. This is mean, so relaxing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> and then this is my favorite room. My it's just something about it. Yeah. Wow. I love it. This is the jungle room. Oh my gosh. My favorite is the snake handle. So cool. Everybody really likes the bedspread a it's lot. Like people freak so out about that. So cool. This is from Etsy. It was. It's like a oh kind of Barbarella gosh. style. Like who like who has a, a gun dick? Like I, I need know. that. I didn't know I needed that. And there's just a butt plug just to edge it up. Yeah, I love it. This room has a lot of like sexier stuff. I oh, have an yeah. original condom machine, old school like Viewmaster. So. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go to the high intensity. <laughs> I can feel it between my legs. <laughs> This is one of my favorite things ever. Oh my Penis gosh. lamp. It's very difficult. Like, trust me, I look it up a lot oh, online just... and you cannot, it's really hard to find phallic statues. So, <laughs> bye Corey. <laughs> Did that used to be darker at the tip, but it was rubbed for good luck? Who do you think I am, Corey? <laughs> rubbed off. <laughs> this is my office. During the shoots, I hang out here with my cat and we just work. Nobody obviously wanted this from their clientele. Um, so I scooped it right up. I'm like, 99 bucks sold. And it I, wasn't covered in fur already. Covered was in it? fur. It this was already all, covered? Yes. yes. Oh, and it spins. Wow. So this is a kitchen. Did you grow up in a house that looks like this? Or is this like no. just your vibe? No, you I grew up in a little townhouse with a single parent mom and um, we did a lot of thrifting. I love that, that kind of juxtaposition between like the old lady fancy Hollywood Regency and then like the rock and roll. Over here's a jukebox. I got this at a thrift store. Okay, anyway, wow. so um, <laughs> so this is the blue room, but a lot of people end up shooting in here instead of using it as a wardrobe room. When celebrities do shoot here, are they like freaking out? I have people come in here that have thirty-nine million dollar houses right. that are billionaires. Yeah, and 
it used to make me like the first one made me really scared and I'm like how am I ever gonna like live up to the standards that they're used to right so I think for celebrities they love seeing an artist they love seeing the unique aspect of anything anybody oh, with a sure. voice that's something they haven't seen before because when you have all that money you've seen everything and you can buy everything yeah. and there's gonna be a you know a swing of the pendulum the other way and I think Gen Z and other generations are gonna be like oh we like records now we like yeah. vintage now and everybody's gonna be like well shit like we have all we these ruined that and I'm gonna start unflipping houses you know who knows I'm gonna be the unflipper I love that you know and this is the backyard Oh my gosh. Spend a lot of time back here. Yeah, I bet. Because of the internet, you never know what's cool actually in person and what's kind of staged. Yeah. And I feel like nothing is staged here. It's yeah. like all actually just happening. It is. It is. <laughs> wow. So freaking cool. Okay, and I also have to ask about your your bush back here. Oh. Is that something that you found somewhere? Oh, or yeah. you carved yourself? Come to my penis hedge. Yeah. They've taken about three years to grow about that, like, you know, like three feet. So I decided I don't want to wait 10 years for my penis hedge. Yeah, um, fair. So I had it, I just commissioned it. And then is this part of the, like, the I just, piece? Or did you just add that later? I just threw because, those up there. Because you had to. I, I mean, thought it needed some movement. Yeah. <laughs> but I think as women, we have the opportunity to be able to really celebrate our sexuality. I, I just, like, want this place to be that kind of empowerment for women. To, like, feel good and feel strong and, like, and men, too. Like, so I have a whole drawer. Come see this drawer. <laughs> This is my Speedo drawer. Oh But they're my. all super 70s, retro, we got little pink ones. I hate that men's shorts got longer and longer. I see some of these guys, like their shoulders go back and they start hearing and seeing other people talking about how good they look in those and they're like, they get all this confidence. All right, BRB, I'll change by the penis day. All right, good luck. We do have bathrooms. I know when you're ready. No regrets? No regrets, just love. Good job, that was fucking killer. And the car is the same year as the house, 68. Get to do a full performance. That was amazing. Oh yeah, always ready. I I'm just so excited that we got to meet you because I wasn't sure if you were gonna like want to show us around or just be like, yeah, you can stop by. But like, it's so cool to see you as part of the house because you clearly are like part of the element of what this house is. If I'm you want me to go on a road trip with you, I'm I'm there. I need to find my red heart tub. I know. Should we the, now? The end. Yes. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Stunning.